In aviation, numbers are used to indicate the flight altitudes, flight speeds, directional headings, radio frequencies, and other important information. Both pilots and air traffic controllers must pronounce the numbers very clearly and accurately to avoid confusion. Like the alphabet, each number has a word assigned to it. Each of the numbers listed on this chart followed by the proper spelling of the word used for that number. Notice that the number 9 has a different pronunciation than what you have learned in your English training. This is done to increase the clarity of communication and avoid confusion with other numbers that sound similar. Let's now read together the numbers in aviation. 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 decimal 100 1000 Now let's look at how to transmit with all these numbers in aviation. When transmitting messages containing aircraft call signs, altimeter settings, flight levels, headings, wind speeds or directions, air speeds and frequencies, each digit shall be transmitted separately. Let's look at the examples of pronunciations. Speedbird 246 Flight level 100 Flight level 180 150 degrees 18 knots 122 decimal 1 6500 Now we will look at the whole hundreds and whole thousands. All numbers used in the transmission of altitude, height, cloth height, pressure setting, transponder codes, visibility and runway visual range information which contain wall hundreds and wall thousands shall be transmitted by pronouncing each digit in the number of hundreds or thousands followed by the word hundred or thousand as appropriate. Combination of thousands and whole hundreds shall be transmitted by pronouncing each digit in the number of thousands followed by the word thousand and the number of hundreds followed by the word hundred. Let's look at the pronunciation of these examples. One zero. One hundred. Two thousand five hundred. QNH 1000 Squawk 1000 1 1000 2 5000 Now we will learn the frequencies. All six figures shall be used when identifying frequencies irrespective of whether they are 25 kilohertz or other kilohertz. Exceptionally, when the two final digits of the frequency are both zero, only the first four digits need be given. Let's look at the pronunciation of these examples. Frequency 118 decimal 125 119 decimal 050 122 decimal 5 118 decimal 0 Now we will learn how to transmit time together. When transmitting time, only the minutes of the hour are normally required. However, 
the R should be included if there is any possibility of confusion. Time checks shall be given to the nearest minute and preceded by the word time. Coordinated Universal Time or UTC is to be used all the times, unless specified. Let's look at the pronunciation of the examples. 23 or 0823 1300 57 or 2057 